Hey guys, uh, in the last two videos in this series, we have learned about the get request. Now, what is the usage of get request? So it's very simple. So we said we have two entities, client and server. Okay. So now a server has got a resource in which client is interested. So client is going to make an HTTP get request to the server for that particular resource. Okay. Now post is completely opposite of it. Now client has got some information which it wants to send over to the server okay so now client is creating a resource on the server end so in that case we use the post request okay so the agenda of this video is onto your screen we are going to talk about what is an http post request then what is the structure of http post request object the only difference between get and post is guys you know like we said the information is with the client and client wants to send that information over to the server which means that client has to provide that payload okay so client has to attach the payload with the request object so that server can access it at its end okay the last thing we're going to talk about is uh, different ways we can supply a request body in rest assured okay so as i said a post request is used to send data to the server uh, for example member information file upload etc and in the api in the test i have built in one endpoint each for json and file upload now you might be wondering like, you know, why there are so many different data exchange formats like JSON, XML and file upload. And I'll, I'll try to keep it simple. So I create two categories. So I put JSON and XML into one category and file upload into another. Now, again, there are two entities. They want to share information with each other, right? If the amount of data is small, okay. And these two systems want to be uh, in sync all the time or you can say that they, they want to have the real-time sync between them then you go for APIs using JSON or XML okay but when you're sending huge chunk of data uh, in the form of file okay then the better uh, pattern I'll say would be to go for SFTP okay so you create a file place that file at the SFTP location of the server which wants to consume that information and that's it okay okay so again since it's an HTTP request it has got three components right number one is request line what do we have in request line we already discussed that so you have the HTTP version like 1.1 or 1.2 then you have the scheme like HTTP or HTTPS then you have the URL you know which contains the domain information like google.com and all then the port so if you're working uh, in a development environment you usually assign a different port like in our case it is 5002 but otherwise if you are working on let's say in the production application then you either get http or https so http runs on you know as you know uh, port 80 http is on 443 and then the path parameter path parameter is nothing like it defines where those resources are placed onto that server okay then comes headers now we have seen that in the api that we are using right we have the basic authentication in place so which means that we have to pass in the authorization header but besides that now since you are sending the body okay so you have to as a client right you have to inform the server that hey the data that i am sending to you is of the following type okay now request body guys is also known as uh, request payload okay so if you are sending the application forward slash json data Okay, so you are going to provide uh, in the request object, okay, that, hey, the content type is equal to application JSON. If you're sending the file, okay, you're going to say content type is multi-platform data, okay. So third one is your body payload, which I've already described. Okay, now, what are the different types supported for request body investor show? So as you could see onto the screen, I broadly categorized into three categories. Now, simple object then file and model, or you can also call it as Pojo, okay and i'm going to create three separate videos so in this video i'm only going to cover the simple object now you have in the simple object you have got string map and we are going to download a library uh, which is json uh, and this is from google then uh, next video i'm going to talk about file and in there also you have these three uh, different types like file input stream byte array and then we are going to create a mo model or Pojo. And in there also, there are two categories, like we're not going to make use of the transient field. Um, and then we're going to make use of, again, the same library JSON. And we are going to expo use the expose annotation in there. Now, you might be wondering, okay, again, there are multiple choices, like, you know, which one should I use? So for that, these are the different uh, two uh, categories that I placed in here. Simplicity, it's, it's very high, all right? 
and this one is going to take uh, some effort from your side okay but the important factor is you know flexibility now flexibility is if you have to maintain your project okay then the maintenance cost should be lower okay that should be your intention all the time then in that case i always recommend to go for this but when you are doing the poc to identify the capabilities of the system that you are planning to use then you can use uh, the simple version okay you can go for string map and uh, this json object all right so let's now start with the coding part so in the interest of time guys i have already created this one class post basics and i've copied some code from this get basics over to this post basics which means that you know if you have not watched this video please go and check that out now what are we going to do in here we're going to first do the non bdd way then we'll move on to the bdd way okay and after that we are going to cover string okay we are going to cover map and we are going to cover the json object from json library okay so first thing I have taken this thing out from all of these methods so that I can refer to this in all my test cases and all the configurations okay regarding uh, my request I'm doing that in the before method all right now the first thing is since we have to provide in the request payload okay I have to also mention to the server the type of my body data okay how do we do that we do that using the header content type okay so let me create now one more header and this time it is going to be content type okay and this will be content type all right now we have got two headers this accept header okay will tell the server that client is asking to share the response in this particular format but this content type tells the server the client is sending data in this particular format okay so i hope the difference between accept and content type is clear now we have got these two headers okay so let us look at a way to add both the headers in just one go so we have this headers headers okay like this okay but now we have to create this object of headers okay so how do we do that so we say headers okay and we call it headers is equal to new headers okay and in here as you could see it is asking for list of header okay that's fine we'll do that so let's call it all headers and gonna use this all headers in here like this okay and now let's start building up this headers okay so it's of list type so we say list of type header okay this is what we have and the name of this would be headers is equal to new and we're gonna say array list okay all right now it becomes very simple all we have to do is we have to say this dot we have this add and in here we're going to add the first header okay and same ways we're going to add the next header which is content type all right all set so we have set up the base uri base path we have set up the headers in here and we have also set up the basic authentication so we are doing good now okay so next step is we have to add body to the http request but remember this is your non bdd style okay have to add body to this request specification object so we say http request dot and we have this method body and now which one we have to select we have to select the string body okay all right so this way we can add the body but now we require the body and it has to be of type string so we say string body is equal to and we are going to place that body in here now let's do one thing i'm going to open my postman and this is my post request i'm simply going to copy this okay and come here and paste that between these two double quotes now you see eclipse has formatted it automatically you don't need to worry about it now guys next step is we have to send post request and store the response okay so we have to store that in response interface like this and then we are going to say again let me copy this http request dot and we have this method 
post like this so this is going to return me the response once i have the response i'm simply going to print the response body onto the console okay so we have got only four records at this point of time let me save this server has restarted that's fine okay great let us now send this request okay so we are able to successfully create this record okay and the id is 5 and let's go back to a file and check that out okay great so we are able to create this record okay so i'm gonna now mark it as false okay let's move on to the next one now we have to see the bdd version okay so again uh let's do one thing since we are using the same data so i'm gonna clear this out okay the moment i'm gonna save it it's going to say server started okay this is happening because of the node mod module that i'm using okay as you could see server is started again the data is gone from here all right uh, we go back so this is my string okay next step is we have to say send post request and store the response okay you know how to do this we are again gonna use my http request okay we have everything in place but we have to first add the body okay now body again we are going to use this method okay and then we say when okay we have this when and we have to send the post request like this it's that simple once you have that response again we are going to print that to the console okay and we are also going to check that in the file system whether the record is created or not uh, and i said one more thing like you know when you use the bdd it looks nicer when you say add return it does not make much of a difference at all okay but you know somehow i like this thing better i'm gonna save it and execute it all right so the record uh, seems to be created again let's go back and yeah it's 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 there great next is I'm gonna mark it as false so that I can skip it. The same pattern that we have been following. Now, in here, we already have this much of code because we have already seen that, okay? We say body, body and blah, 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 okay? But now I have to create the map object from here, okay? So I'm gonna say map interface, wherein the key and value both would be of type string, in our case, string, string. Now just one thing before we move on so there is a library which will require because i'm gonna create the map i'm gonna provide the map object and it will fail because rest assured is dependent upon other libraries like jackson or json to convert this map object into the json okay so let's move on and i'm gonna call it body is equal to new and let's use hash map class because this class has implemented this interface so let's add the name and gender using the method put okay so in here you say name and the value let's give the value um, julia okay same way i'm gonna just copy this one more time paste it and gonna change the values gender has to be female okay rest all looks good we have to change this to true save it run it and it will fail okay so it's failed and let us look at the error cannot serialize object because no json serializer found in the class path okay that's the thing and it tells uh, that these are the different options which i can use like jackson json and few more okay that makes sense so this is what i was saying guys does not matter in what format you know you are creating or constructing your body when you're sending it over to the server you have to change it to the application json okay all right so then what do we do now so we open the browser and we say maven central repository and let's search for json okay so this is from google let's open that 
let's pick up the latest one I'm gonna copy this go back and open my pom.xml and I add the dependency in here now guys one more thing in here now as you could see this is being used by developers also for the serialization and deserialization but this is our test code okay so I just want to use this as scope equal to test and to format it control shift F control S okay save it now it is being pulled and let's close this now go back to your file again because all the meme independencies are already listed there in the class path so all you have to do is now run it again and your data would be posted okay as you could see the record is created but we have the database and we can check it all right great so it's it's created so guys now since we have added the JSON library what we can also do is we can create the JSON object using that library so let's start creating that as a JSON object and we have to pull it from com.google.json okay let's name it body is equal to new JSON object okay and then on this body object you have the method add property okay which one you have to use string string okay in here you provide name um, let's set it its value to John this time and same way we have to add it for gender okay and let's change this key to gender and value to male now if you don't know what JSON is guys it's it's very simple it's it's a key value combination where in key is always string and value could be anything okay so let me save this and we have to set the previous one to false and this one to true save everything again and execute it there you go the record is created let's check that in the database as well and it's there all right guys that's uh, that's about how you can pass in these simple objects in the next video we are going to see how we can provide the body the request body is the request payload from the files onto our system okay great thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video